Saturday marked a statement win for the Bobcats taking down number five Eastern Washington on their home turf 23 to 20. That's now eight straight wins for Montana State as they head in to their last two games of the regular season. I said it back on Monday, I believe it was going to take a team effort. You know, the, the time of possession, the way it was tilted, even though we didn't capitalize in the red zone offensively, they were over on the sideline quite a bit. Defense and a balanced offense was the recipe for success Saturday, snapping a seven game losing streak to the Eagles. All the way around, special teams, defense, offense, I thought I mean, it was clear that we were trying our best to be physical. The Bobcats contained Eastern's high powered offense, holding them to just 314 yards, half of what they've averaged this season. And while all American and Eric Berrier was still efficient in the backfield, completing 68% of his passes. He only threw for 214, 200 less than what he normally produces. Keeping a quarterback at bay that's as talented as him, he still made a bunch of plays, but you know I think we won that battle. So I'll take great defense over great offense any day, and I think that's the way it worked out today. But even though the Bobcats may have left some points on the field, they still racked in 544 yards of total offense. Matt McKay opened the game with a 56-yard house call, but it was Isaiah Afonso's game-high 217 that played a big part in Saturday's win. He's a hard guy to bring down. And to him to be on that other side of 30 again with his carries, I think that was what it took today. He needed to be able to make some plays and break some tackles, and you know he did just that. We have a special guy in 22. We have a lot of weapons on offense, and Isaiah's one of them. And he's an awesome back, and he makes us right a lot of times, too. And with just two games left on their schedule, Vegan says the quest for a national championship begins now. Everybody wants to point to the playoffs and say championships are won in December. They're won in November. They're won as you continue to play better and get better and come on the right side of games where you're really tested. And we need to find a way this week, next week, moving forward to keep getting better. Then that's what ultimately will propel us into whatever we can do down the road. And looking ahead to next week, Montana State returns to Bobcat Stadium for their last home game of the regular season against Idaho with kickoff set for 1 p.m. In Cheney, Ashley Washburn, M10 Sports.